We're now going to fill out the expected cash disbursements for conversion costs. And remember, conversion costs are overhead and direct labor. It's what you add to the direct material to end up with the finished product. The instructions for conversion costs say monthly manufacturing conversion costs are $5,500 for factory rent, $2,900 for other fixed manufacturing expenses, and $1.10 per unit for variable manufacturing overhead. No depreciation is included in these figures. All expenses are paid in the month in which they are incurred. And that's important because we have to know when they're paid so that we can show them as going out in that month. So the rent is fixed at 5500 and this is one number where we don't have a formula. We're just going to put that in there and we will put that across and the other manufacturing overhead is fixed at 2900 that in the wrong square. And again, we can just copy this over. Now the conversion costs, the uh, which consist of the direct labor and the manufacturing overhead, that's variable. Uh, I've got a little hint here for you. You take the units to produce times the variable manufacturing overhead because we're talking about production not sales. So this equals a dollar ten times the units that we're going to produce in January. And let's see if this will copy over. Yeah. And you can check your formula, like I'm checking uh, this one here, and it's a dollar ten times E39, which is what I want, E39. Uh, okay, we're going to do a sum here. Go back to the home page, auto sum, and we'll copy that. Actually, we can copy all that across, and here we've got to do sums here and we'll copy that down all right so uh, you know I do a lot of copying instead of re-entering formulas for two reasons one it's quicker and two once I've got it, the right formula if I have to keep entering it it leaves me open to make errors so that is the conversion costs and the next one that we will do will be the uh, expected cash disbursements.